Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome back. I hope you had a good weekend. It's time for another video in my 2022 summer sunscreen series. So I like to do these videos every single year, usually right at the start of the summer. Um, and I go through and I test different SPFs and see how they work with my very oily skin type. I am 43 years old. I do still have very oily skin. It's not nearly as oily as it used to be, but it is still an oily skin type. And honestly, it's kind of difficult to find SPFs that work really well with an oily skin type. For myself personally, I tend to favor mineral sunscreen. I find that uh, titanium dioxide or zinc oxide based sunscreens tend to just hold up the best on my oily skin. So a lot of the sunscreens that you will see me testing out here on my channel have a mineral base, although I'm not, I'm not averse to chemical sunscreens. I just know that they don't work quite as well for me. So if one is designed specifically for an oily skin type, I'm more than happy to try a chemical sunscreen, but I just have found that in my experience, mineral is just a better fit. So um, I have done one other video in this series so far this summer. Um, I have some more sunscreens in mind. The first one that I reviewed was the Pack Up and Glow Priming SPF. This is an SPF 40 from Wander Beauty. I really actually like this one and I think this is a great one if you tend to really like that glow to your skin. I prefer a little bit more of a matte look myself but I I also have found that the older I get it is kind of nice to just to have a little bit of a glow to your skin. But having oily skin, anything that says glow immediately kind of makes me go eh. <laughs> well, I don't know that I need any more glow but anyway. So today we are going to be talking about the Sunbum SPF. Um, this is their, specifically their Mineral Tinted Sunscreen Face Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. This is supposed to be water resistant for up to 40 minutes. This is fragrance free uh, for sensitive skin. It's hypoallergenic. It's vegan. This is a tinted SPF. I actually heard about this from Dr. Dre over, well, she's here on YouTube as well, but I follow her Instagram and um, she did a video where she shared this particular one and she mentioned that it had a really nice matte finish to it. And immediately when she said matte finish, I was like, I gotta put that on the list. So anyway, I picked this up at my local Ulta and um, I thought we could kind of read through their claims real quick. I don't have anything on my face other than my morning skincare routine, so we're gonna apply this together so that you can see what it looks like going on. Um, and I'll kind of tell you about my experience over the last couple weeks using this as my primary SPF. Now, I will tell you at the end of the video whether it beats or is like up there with my Holy Grail SPF. If you are new here, um, the Paula's Trace Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30 is my holy grail. This is the very best SPF that I've ever found for my oily skin. And I found a lot of things that are kind of up there with this one, but um, nothing has beat it quite yet. So, but I'll let you know where this one stands at the end of the video. I also wanna make sure that you guys know sunscreen should be worn year round. I know a lot of people just kind of put it on when it's sunny out. Um, please do know that the sun's rays can actually penetrate through the clouds. So you're still at risk for developing skin cancer, even when it's cloudy out. So wear your SPF. Also, it is important to reapply SPF. Um, I usually, if I am not spending time outside other than just going to check the mail, I work from home, so I, I don't really leave the house a lot. Um, I will just put my SPF on in the morning and then typically not reapply. But if I am spending any time outside with the dogs, if we're taking them for walks, if any of that, like, when I'm outside, like for a solid period of like time, 
I always reapply my SPF. My favorite way to do it is with the spray SPFs. I think they're easier to reapply. My personal favorite is the Kate Somerville Uncomplicated SPF 50. It's a, it's a spray, has a nice light mist. I will link that one down below. That is a chemical sunscreen, but I found that it's actually quite nice for me for touch-ups, and that was what I used when I was a like actively doing wedding flowers. That was what I had in my florist kit as my SPF, and it was nice because if I forgot SPF like for my body, um, I usually wore like long sleeves and stuff while I was getting everything ready, but um, I would uh, bring like a body SPF as well like for my hands, but if I forgot one, I could use the uh, uncomplicated spray on my hands or like the back of my neck and it worked really well for that. So if you're interested in that one, it works quite well for my oily skin. I will link that down below. I will also link this. But let's go ahead and read up about the claims of this SPF and then let's put it on my face and I'll tell you guys how I feel about it. All right, so some like to go as au natural as possible, lightweight, silky, sun bum, mineral sunscreen. SPF tint, um, sorry, face tint SPF 30. It's quite the mouthful. Lotion glides on like butter and provides a chemical-free sunscreen and primer with a matte finish. So this is um, chemical sunscreen free. It is lightweight, uh, non-greasy tinted matte finish and like I said, water resistant up to 40 minutes. So this gets pretty darn good reviews. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put it on and I'll tell you how I feel about it. So I'm just going to put my hair back real quick here. So I've been using this for the last couple weeks, and I really like it, you guys. Um, oh, and here's my assistant, Alf. Um, I will say this lasts quite a bit throughout the day, um, but I do notice that by around 5 o'clock, and typically I will put my SPF on around, I don't know, lately I've been getting ready around like 8, 8.30 in the morning. Um, so here is what it looks like, uh, that might be, that's a lot. Yeah, that might be a little bit too much, but that's fine. <laughs> you, you should put on quite a bit. Um, the best rule of thumb is to uh, spread the SPF along your fingers. Um, I have heard you're supposed to do three finger lengths, um, but I usually do pretty substantial squeezes of my SPF, I guess. So for me, like two finger lengths is good. But anyway, so this has kind of a nice lightweight, it's almost like borderline moussey texture. Um, it does have a little bit of like a silicone feel to it. Uh, not a little bit, it has a silicone feel to it for sure. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of that. That was a lot. <laughs> but I still have quite a bit on my hands here. So, um, when you are first distributing it, you can see it has a nice tint to it. When I first saw the tint, I was like, oh, that's going to be way too, like, kind of orangey looking on me. It's really not. And it doesn't oxidize either, so that's nice. Um, it does have that slip to it, so um, if you don't like the feel of a, like, slick, or it's silicone it's like that silicone feeling right that smooth silicone feeling if you don't like that you're probably not going to like the feel of this spf but i find that these particular spfs do a little bit better with oily skin um that being said though the australian gold spf 50 that one has a silicone feel to it as well I cannot wear that one i get constant questions from you guys about that particular spf I can't do it because it slides off my face. <laughs> I'm not sure what the deal is with that one, but it really does. Um, and you can see I'm putting this one across my eyes. I don't have any issues with this one. Um, with this one stinging my eyes or irritating them in any kind of way. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to, like, rub this in. It has worked well with my skincare. I don't have any pilling or anything. Um, because of that silicone texture, this does actually work quite well at kind of filling in your pores a little bit. So this one does give me a really smooth look to my skin. 
Um, it does take a few minutes to like settle and kind of dry down into the skin. By the way, I use SPFs that are not tinted, like this MD Solar Sciences one, um, this SPF 50 here. This is what I would use like on my neck or uh, and on my ears. Um, I don't use tinted SPFs on my neck just because I don't like how SPFs can, if they're tinted, can rub off on your clothing. I just don't want to deal with that. So um, I already put that Solar Sciences one on my neck today. So that's why I'm, I'm not bringing this down. I don't want you guys to think that I'm not protecting my neck. You, you got to do the whole thing, guys. Do the whole thing. Anything that is really exposed, you need to put SPF on. Okay. So this is what it looks like after I rub it in. I will say this one does mute out my brows quite a bit. I get a lot of questions about my brows, you guys. These are micro shaded on my face. They're they permanent. <laughs> but I do put SPF over top because, you know, you should do that with all of your tattoos. It just protects them from fading. So I've always done that. And then I put just a little bit of brow powder over top. Um, once I'm all done with my makeup, but yeah, so this is what This is what the finish looks like on my skin again. It's really smooth um, Definitely fills in my pores This does not feel sticky But like I said, it does have that slick kind of texture to it at first It takes about I would say 15 minutes for this one to really settle into my skin this is not one that I can go in with my powder foundation immediately after it will, it just, it's, it's not dry enough um, unless you wait about 15 minutes. So it does tend to want to catch a lot of powder if you don't wait long enough. So just make sure that this is like fully settled into your skin. Um, I start to get shiny around, I would say like four o'clock in the afternoon. So I'll usually have to do just a quick blot. Um, and then again, if I need to reapply SPF, I would use the Kate Somerville. And um, yeah, hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that. I am having some allergy issues and that was a coughing attack. Didn't want to make you guys sit through that. Anyway, so yeah, in conclusion, this has not made me break out. I feel like it's a pretty good fit for my oily skin type. Um, is it the best? No. Um, it is, it definitely does not, it does not beat my beloved. This is still number one. It's not like I'm going to switch over to this, but I will certainly use the rest of this up. Um, I think this is a wonderful SPF if you are on a tighter budget. The Sunbum brand is cruelty free. Um, it is on the drugstore side of Ulta, so I actually use one of those 350 off 15 coupons on this. So I think I paid just somewhere around $14 for this SPF. It is 1.7 fluid ounces. Um, the Paula's Choice is 2 fluid ounces. This is still less expensive. Um, it provides good, uh, like, everyday SPF protection, I guess. SPF 30 is kind of like my baseline for most SPFs. If it's under 30, I typically don't bother with it. Um, I do have higher SPFs, like and this one I will wear on my face if I am outside, like on the water, or if we're active, like if we're going to like the mountain to do like ski bowl or something, you know, I will wear a higher SPF. But 30 is typically my go-to for every day. And I think this one's great. Again, no breakouts. I don't feel like it clogs my pores. It evens my skin out. It gets me through most of the day. I think it's a good fit for my oily skin. But I think if you are anywhere in the normal to combination to oily skin type, this would work quite well for you. Mineral SPF can be difficult for those of you with a drier skin type, so you might have to moisturize a little bit more with this one. I don't find it drying, but then again, I wouldn't really probably notice that a whole lot with my oilier skin type. So, But I really like how this evens my skin out. I like how it pairs with my makeup. I like that it gets me through most of the day. And I think the texture of it is nice, but it's definitely 
slightly slick feeling. So just make sure you're okay with that silicone texture with this one because that is definitely one of the first things that you will notice. But overall, I give it two thumbs up. I think it's a great SPF to try if you're in the market for a new one. It's a great uh, drugstore option and pretty affordable with that coupon making it under $15. I think that's a great choice for just an everyday SPF. Sunbum offers lots of different um, SPF for the body. I think they have a couple different options for the face as well. Um, this one I thought would be the best fit for my oily skin and I'm glad I tried it. So let me know if you have any questions. I will link this in the description box down below. Let me know what your favorite SPF is for your skin type and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Tiddly.